Now, I'm sure a lot of you Halo 5 fans are going to be very happy about this change. One of the most popular modes from Halo 5 has now been put into Halo Infinite. By the way, check out this new menu for the multiplayer list. I've heard some people kind of dogging on it, saying it's not very good. I actually like it. It's more functional than what we had previously, so I'm all about functionality rather than visual appeal. But now you don't need to scroll down so much to find Super Fiesta. Now, if you remember Super Fiesta from the BTB Unlimited experience we had quite a while back, well, now it's within 4v4s, but you would think it'd just be Super Fiesta. It's not really just that. Because if we click into Super Fiesta, click the game list, you'll see Fiesta Slayer. Like, yeah, it's Super Fiesta. What are you talking about? No, it's actually Fiesta and Super Fiesta mixed into the same playlist. We also have some of the Community Forge maps mixed into this now, which I love that addition as well. So let's actually see like how often this actually comes out. Will we be stuck with regular Fiesta? Will we get Super Fiesta? I talked about this in a previous video saying that 343 did talk about eventually blending this mode together where it's just like regular fiesta and super fiesta kind of all into one mode just called super fiesta but mainly what the difference is is with fiesta it's all your regular weapons all your regular equipment and things like that where super fiesta you can assume it's all the campaign stuff and all the campaign upgraded equipment and it looks like super fiesta came up on our first try you love to see it and of course i get it with a battle rifle and then a plasma pistol i basically get like a super noob combo effectively which is kind of like man I was kind of expecting for like some really cool stuff to happen, but really just end up getting the same thing we always get. I mean, the ver vertical recoil on this is effectively nothing. Oh my god, the entire enemy team is within this little spot. <laughs> now myself, I didn't really play a whole lot of- Oh, nice little bank shot right there. That was pretty sweet. I didn't play a whole lot of Super Fiesta back in Halo 5. I kind of like more of my regular modes. They're just kind of like ranked, Halo, Slayer, BTB, stuff like that. I'm not too into like the party modes when it comes to Halo, but yeah, this is definitely would be a much more fun version of just regular Fiesta, which I have almost no interest in actually playing. At least with this, you get to play around with some of the cool, more unique weapons within the game. So I'm all for that for sure. Ooh, this guy's getting a little spicy on me. Get him out of here, dude. Don't even try. Though I would say that Super Fiesta is kind of like the perfect mode. If you're just kind of looking just to hop in and blow some stuff up, then Super Fiesta is definitely you're going to be your go-to. Oh, he's trying to smash me! No, you're not. It's not happening like that, dude. Oh, sorry, this is the electrical grapple shot. Let's see if we can make some weird stuff happen. Since I got this blade on the bottom of the shock rifle, does it actually like, play a little bit more damage into it, you think? Oh, no, he's got a sword! <laughs> oh, this is the camo boost, so I can boost like this and actually put me into camo, which is so cool. But it's so temporary that you can't really utilize it a whole lot. Oh my gosh, I swear this, the game right now wants me to have this Ravager. I don't really care for it, but it's, 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 I'm, it's in my hands. So I gotta make the best out of it. This slightly the appeal of Fiesta's Lair. Oh no, this is the worst. Oh my gosh. I got it from the grave though. Plaza pistol and a pulse carbine. Like this game refuses to give me the good stuff. Actually, that wasn't too bad. Those poles car by and the fire the fire is so much faster. But the lethal is still ain't there. Oh my god, Pulse Carbine Hydra. Do they just not want me to have kills this game? Also, it is kind of cool with the campaign weapons. If you have a skin for, or I should say a coating for the uh, weapon that pops up, you still get that. <gasps> Sniper? Sword? Oh my gosh, can I actually be effective on the battlefield? Dude. Yes, I can! Five minutes remain. There we go. Nice little melee with that bad boy right there. Oh, let's get that sword again. Yeah. Oh, a sword with a grapple shot is going to be nasty if we can make this work. Watch this little trick right here. I love doing this. Slide across. He's coming around the corner. Oh, no. I'm missing. No. I do like when you throw the grenade through that upgraded shield that it actually makes it like a shock grenade and a regular frag grenade at the same time. Oh, my goodness. This heat wave is lethal, man. I will say another aspect that makes Super Fiesta way more interesting than regular Fiesta is again, like these weapons right here are effectively new bits of content that yes, typically you can actually play them within like big team battle if you go into like the loot caves and stuff like that. But it's such a rare occasion to really get some good stuff. And I mean, we all played the campaign pretty much once through, right? For most of us. And we didn't really get a chance to play around with these weapons. 
pretty much after that, so having these in the game now is just so much more fun. It mixes up the gameplay, it turns up the mechanics of Halo up to 11, you know, and just like, let's just have some fun and blow stuff up. Oh, it had no scopes. That's actually not that impressive. Oh, we got a little friend whose hammer is better. Whose hammer is better? Mine's better! Oh, this guy thinks he's being sneaky. Watch this. Watch this. He's going to get it so bad. Here we go. Now we got him. These banish weapons look so freaking cool. Bam! How about you too? You want some more? Yeah! This is why Super Fiesta is the best. Also, honestly, anything that just mixes up the gameplay of Halo Infinite, I'm just all for it at this point, man. We've been kind of playing the same game with the same sandbox for the longest time, just minor tweaks along the way. So I'm glad to see that this is getting implemented and we actually have a chance to play some new stuff. It's actually kind of funny when you think about it, just like the simple changes, like just having like extra weapons in the sandbox really just change up the gameplay and now to work does make it feel like a different experience. This feels so much fun to play that like honestly, it's like if regular Fiesta comes up, I'm like, like I just would rather just not play and just like wait until I get Super Fiesta again or something, you know? I don't know why, but it just feels like the Super version of Fiesta just really plays into the nature of Fiesta itself, which is crazy, wacky fun. Just turn the gameplay up to 11 and, and see what happens. He just killed himself with his own gun. <laughs> you gotta get some skills there, buddy, before you try coming at me. There we go. Nice little snipey snipe. Dude, this sh shotgun range is crazy. Super Fiesta is another step in the right direction in getting Halo Infinite in the state that makes people want to jump in and play the game. Halo Infinite is in desperate need of some more social, fun modes, which I do believe we will get more of within Season 4. As it stands at the moment though, when there's Super Fiesta and just regular Fiesta, I would much rather play the Super Fiesta version compared to regular Fiesta, as it's just a little bit more fun and we've played around with this sandbox for basically a year and a half. Like yes, they did add in the shroud screen and the bandit rifle but i just find those weapons to be just kind of average and when you throw in all the extra fun stuff into a mode this is where it actually becomes like a side mode worth playing in my opinion now we can't expect to see more social modes coming into halo infinite rather soon we did hear from a recent developer who actually just left talking about how they want to bring action sack back into halo infinite but in their own way and kind of play off of what the people in the forge community have created we also heard things about recently about husky raid potentially coming back in the Halo Infinite maybe having the community art up some maps and 343 providing like kind of like the skeleton framework of what they could do for a Husky raid to return in Halo Infinite which again with all these awesome campaign weapons with Husky raid I mean they're asking to have a blast right there no pun intended well maybe a little bit if you guys want to see more about that video talking about Husky raid in the future of Halo check out the video on the screen right now thank you all for watching catch you on the next one peace out